Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and you've all been asking for this one. It's all about my electric setup. So let's walk through what electrics I've got and how it's configured all in under five minutes as well. So the core of my system are these two Renergy 200 amp hour lithium batteries uh, that have Bluetooth as well. I've then got over on the right hand side there, uh, that is the um, combination DC to DC and MPPT controller, uh, again by Renergy. Uh, that allows 50 amps on B2B or 25 amps on solar. Or if you use them both together, you get 25 amps B2B and 25 amps solar. And I've got a single 600 watt solar panel up on the roof. I've got the second controller there, which is a 60 amp Renergy uh, MPPT controller. And that's connected to my solar panels on the roof. Um, of which so far I've got around about 490 watts out of it, which is pretty cool, it's about 30 amps. So that's doing really well. And my B2B um, basically is just a B2B right now. I am going to connect some tails on there that allow me to connect up my uh, portable solar panel, uh, which I'm going to try and use as a um, sort of a canopy um, at the side of the van. I've got two bus bars there and there for the negative and positive. So all the negative charges and loads go through those bus bars. So each battery has its own connection to the bus bar and each charger has its own connection to the bus bar. Incoming connection to the uh, B2B goes straight to my starter battery under the seat over there, brought through as a uh, 35 mil cable. Um, and then it's grounded on the chassis, uh, which is actually just behind there. And that ground goes to the ground bus bar. Uh, I've then got obviously my distribution fuse box for all the low power items. So fridges, heater, uh, lights, phone charger, USBs, you know, all that kind of stuff all go through there. This is my mains. Bought one of these camping kits. So it's got an RCD um, connection built in and that all connects back up to my Renergy 2000 watt inverter slash charger and basically that gives me main sockets um, around my van uh, when I'm on hookup um, or main sockets through the inverter and if the inverter does have a mains hookup through there uh, then it will start charging my two batteries with 75 amps of charge so they both get like 30 odd amps uh, so that works really well and then by wiring up my sockets here um, it's allowed me to get, um, you know, obviously protection from RCD protection. Um, plus it means I've got another socket in my boot as well. I've got a nice light on there that tells me whether it's on or off. Um, and I do have a remote control switch for the inverter to switch it on and off. Um, the inverter powers things like um, air fryer, kettle, um, toaster, induction hob, um, frying, electric frying pans and everything we've got. Everything's got its own breaker, so each battery's got its own breaker. As you can see over the back there, the solar's got its own breaker, and right at the top there, and the B2B's got its own breaker. Um, and uh, down there is the breaker for the um, inverter as well. So everything's got its own way to be isolated and trip as well, should it exceed the load rated on there. Now I've used 50 mil cable um, between the batteries, and the inverter, such as the load that they can carry, um, 200 amp hour discharge load for those. And that is just to make sure that they've got enough load capacity for anything that I draw through the inverter and also um, anything that I want to charge back up or anything like that. Having everything Renergy based and Bluetooth capabilities allows me to monitor everything through the Renergy app as well. So I can see incoming solar charges, DC charges, the state of each battery's charge, the loads I'm carrying, plus historical information too. Right, so I think I did that in just about under five minutes. So that is my five minute electrical tour. If you've got any further questions about it, um, obviously ask in the comments section down below. Um, and I'll try to link all the items in the video description as well. So you can go and find those. Uh, there will be affiliate links. So if you do buy them, I shall be paid a little bit of commission from Amazon or eBay. So thank you if you do buy them. And uh, yeah, I shall catch you next time on a five minute Friday. Bye.